Miss Copy Level 3 Explosion, call an old tree in Midville Park. Completed her an explosion in the area. We're also getting another one at 5103 South Lavender. It turns out it is city-wise. City area. I guess it's all city-wide right now. Hey, I'm clear for level 210 East Shiloh complains that somebody is going around rattling the wrought iron bars to her house. Wiring, they're just hearing it. It's probably also related to the explosion. You don't happen to have any power outages reported up there, do you? That's negative, and I'm on the 21 with DM, and they don't have anything going on that they think would cause this. Jeannie Lane. Complainant heard the booms earlier, said he did shake his house about 10 to 15 minutes ago. Then it sounded like someone was shaking his back door. He said he did not notice anything in the backyard. Talk of several towns in West Michigan today. Mysterious loud booms woke people up and rattled the windows last night in Branch and Calhoun counties all the way to Allegan County. I'm just waiting. Where was it? it was, the sound was coming from um, up there, over there. Like by where, like, Petro. That's scary, man. Especially how it was just like, let's get your hand in here. This could go viral. <laughs> this is scary as hell. Just fucking. There it is. That's a truck. No way. Yeah. Hold your brakes. No way that's a damn truck. Yeah, it's the truck just went by. That's way too Like, just listen. Oh my god, that's so cool. The wheels are frozen. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy fuck, that's cool. This is the fucking big man. Did you hear a loud boom earlier today? Several people heard and felt a loud noise around 1230 Central Time this afternoon. News Channel 7's Tyler Allender joins us live in the studio. And Tyler, is any word on what it was? Ron, with Tendall Eglin and NSA Panama City nearby, we're no stranger to loud booms from time to time. This particular one seems to be a mystery, though, but I heard and felt it. As of now, there's no official word on the source. Law enforcement doesn't believe it's criminal. Many of you called our newsroom and left comments on our Facebook pages. And here's what some of you said. Barbara was wondering what the big boom was. Debbie said the houses on her street shook. Tiffany was also curious. Enid said she heard what she sounded or what sounded to her like an explosion in the Grand Lagoon area. Houses shook and even tripped the breakers. Now, there weren't any reports of an earthquake, according to the U.S. Geological Survey, and still not everyone felt it. We had fewer, if any, reports from those who live closer to Tyndall, over to Callaway, Springfield, and Parker. But if we do get any leads, we'll be sure and pass them along, Ron. All over Carter County took to social media about a loud boom that shook their homes and workplaces around 10:15 this morning. News 12's Amy Jensen spoke with Air Force bases about what might have caused it. The whole building shook. I felt the boom, and then it, it just like rolled, rolled, roared. I was here waiting on a customer, and all of a sudden there was this huge, what I thought was an explosion. Jadine Fackrell was at work when she heard the boom. She says everyone inside at the Oklahoma Pecan Company ran outside. The building, the windows rattled. Um, it, it felt like it shook, although we're on a concrete foundation. 
A public affairs officer with Lockheed Martin tells us they're still determining where the sonic boom test took place, leaving those around Carter County, like Fackrell, who felt it, still wondering. No smoke, no fire, no sirens. Don't know what it was. Imagine for a second being woken up by what sounds like a cannon outside your window. Well, that's how a lot of people are describing a mysterious boom in the Huntington area. When you hear something so loud it shakes your home, you expect you'll find something when you look out your window or start talking to people in your neighborhood. But that's not the case with the booms heard all across Huntington last night. So I ran to the back door and looked out but I didn't see anything. It rattled the windows, shook the walls, and it jolted the doors. But it didn't leave a trail. What in the world is going on? It's what a lot of people in Huntington have been wondering. All I heard was a big boom. Anytime there's something like this that happens where there's no real evidence to prove where the sound came from. We've heard Jesus is coming. <laughs> um, we've heard lots of things. This is the kind of stuff you see on TV. It's not something I thought we would ever be discussing in our own town. So, I've been hearing some strange noises outside now for a bit. I open the window to show you. It's really strange. Listen. what it is but I'm starting to freak me out a bit. I don't like it. It's been happening every kind of ten minutes, half an hour. But there it is again. I don't know what it is, but it's been some strange cloud formations. I don't know if that's got anything to do with it, but. It's freaking me out. I've heard about these noises from other places, but, um,
New at 11 now, it's a nervous night for residents of Fairlawn, New Jersey, wondering if it will happen again. For about a week there, the area has been plagued by loud, booming sounds. Problem is, no one knows where the sound is coming from. We were like looking at each other like, what was that? It happened twice in the past week to Danielle McManus and her family. While inside their home, in a usually very quiet Fairlawn neighborhood, things went bump in the night. If we didn't know any better, it almost sounds like a cannon. It was so deep and just like, Echoey? Elsewhere in this neighborhood along the Passaic River, residents say they've heard loud booms as early as 6 p.m. and as late as 2 in the morning. It's like, psh, psh. It was like, grr, grr, brr, like that. I uh, heard the noise, so I came out here. Sometimes, you know, people dump garbage. You know, I sounded like a garbage truck. Initially, they thought maybe the noises were coming from this PSE&G plant in Patterson across the river from the communities where the noises are being reported. Construction is going on, but a neighbor closest to this plant says the booms are not coming from here. Have you heard any sounds coming from this plant? No explosions. He has extra officers deployed, more eyes and ears, for when whatever it is disturbs the peace again. Not often we report on falling prices. No. One of many people in Gloucestershire and Wiltshire that heard a loud boom coming from the skies last night. The noise was heard at Cotswold Airport near the village of Kemble at around 10 o'clock. Some say their entire houses shook. But the airport and the police say it was all part of an emergency services exercise. Yeah, that's right, AJ Abbey. We'll take a look at this map. This is where residents say they are hearing the loud booms. And you can see right across this map, you can see North Florida and South Georgia. Almost all the counties in our coverage area are covered. Now, take a look at some of what our viewers posted on Facebook. Kelly writes, it sounded, in, she's writing from Havana at around 1030, it sounded like a loud truck rumbling, went outside and nothing. Also, Precious B writes, it felt like I heard the noise you tur I heard at the time referenced. My home shook. I thought it was an earthquake. Yet another viewer also telling us that this one is uh, Stephanie. She says, I have heard and felt several times over the last few days. Dogs go crazy and the windows rattle. It felt like the whole house was shaking. Now, we did reach out to this as some of you, so many of you were talking about this. We decided to go in search of what may have caused the boom. We reached out to Tyndall Air Force Base near Panama City. Officials told us four of their aircraft were flying Tuesday evening during that time, but they also said there was no indication of any sonic boom that would be noticeable in the areas reported. There's a lot of people talking about this, a loud noise. Emergencies calls, mm -hmm. all this in Dodge County, people wondering, what was it? Yeah, what caused this boom? Was it a force of nature or a different kind of force? What's the sound?
at 6.08 p.m. I'm doing that for a solid two hours now. No, what the hell that noise is? That's a bit strange. Yeah. Nothing now. I actually thought maybe it was a traffic crash outside my house, so went outside, drove around the neighborhood looking for something, and wasn't able to locate anything. The house shook and there was a loud boom. Dozens of dead fish are washing ashore on a popular Naples beach, and folks are not sure why. Good evening, everyone. I'm Joe Rhodes. And I'm Brittany Weiner. NBC2's Chris Gilmore is live on Vanderbilt Beach with people who've been dodging these fish all day. Chris. I've spoken to a lot of the people on the beach today, and they tell me it's been a perfect day here on Vanderbilt Beach, except for one thing. At least 100 of these fish washing along shore every few hundred feet as you walk along the beach. It's the first time so many have got beached. We've asked senior officials from the Gulf of Manar, Marine Park and the Forest Department to investigate. Bíblica, miles de calamares murieron en las costas de la isla chilena de Santa María. Los residentes de la isla dijeron que año con año llegan a los
सोशल मीडिया जो बीच है पूरी बीच है यहाँ पर मैं कंपेयर में कभी भी नहीं देखा हूँ कि पूरी बीच में इतना संख्या से फसल Well, it is up in the sky. It is rare, but you can see it right here in Southern Colorado. It's a planetary alignment, a decade in the making. Uh, beginning tomorrow morning, all space educators say there are some nice features about this event. You can see these with your with your own eyes, um, but then even with just binoculars, you can see some of the planets really up close. Well, it looks like white dots in these images are actually star explosions shining 20 times brighter than our entire galaxy. Astronomers say this is the brightest supernova observed in human history, spotted using a network of telescopes around the world. It's located about 4 billion light years away from Earth in another galaxy. And at its peak, this super luminous supernova is 570 billion times brighter then get this, the sun. Scientists have discovered a possible new planet in our solar system for the first time in 170 years. Evidence of this ninth planet was found on the far edge of the system. Astronomers at, this, at the California Institute of Technology have not directly seen it yet, but they think it's up to 10 times bigger than Earth and 20 times farther away than Neptune. A mystery not only in this area, but also in communities across the country. Uh, they sound like loud explosions, except there's never any damage. So what is really going on? Ross Gadotti went looking for answers today. Imagine, if you will, you're standing on your front porch when out of nowhere, a cataclysmic explosion goes off. You see a bright light, you feel the force, and then it goes away. And when emergency responders go to find what blew up, they can't find anything. Well, it's happened in Fayette County recently, and it's happening around the United States. For Michelle Wiltrout, what happened around 7.45 Monday night is something she'll never... All I heard was a large explosion, and I thought something blew up or a bad car wreck. Whatever it was, numerous residents around Connellsville heard it and felt it as well. For some, it was so intense it rattled entire foundations, knocking pictures off of walls. I mean, I could feel it. I could feel it, so I don't know what it was. Mysterious massive explosions are not exclusive to this part of Fayette County. Thanks so much for joining us. A loud boom rattled homes just west of the city. The phenomenon is worldwide. Stan Gordon is a researcher in the field of the unexplained. In more recent years, there seems to be an increase in these type of reports. Now, explanations abound. Sonic booms, meteorites, the kids just blowing things up. But not all of these earth-shaking, window-rattling events are resolved. And in March of last year, uh, I received, and I know other sources received numerous reports of, of a very loud shaking and a boom that uh, covered many communities in Fayette County. Around the same time as the big boom were some unusual lights in the sky, and then later people reporting a lot of helicopter activity in the area. So I, I've never heard an explanation for that one. Those who've experienced these enormous mystery explosions will tell you it's unnerving, whatever they are. I don't know, but it's scary because it's too close to home. Many of you heard it, a mystery boom in South Wichita, and no one knows where it came from. It was loud enough to make some think a car had crashed into their home. Now, the boom happened Saturday, but lots of you are still asking us about it. We sent Fact Fighter 12 investigator Lauren Siebert to try to find out what happened. It's been a tough task, let me tell you. I've been on the phone all day with people who say they have no idea what happened. But if you ask people who live around here, they'll tell you whatever it was, it was loud. In the third week of January, Kansans expect a bitter chill. But not so much what some are saying the most recent one brought with it. Just all of a sudden we heard a really loud boom and it sounded almost like an explosion. It sounded like either a tree had come through the roof or someone had ran into my house. Saturday afternoon around 1, we started getting calls and emails about a big boom in South Wichita. And I thought, well, maybe it was an earthquake. And I thought, no, because 
You don't hear a boom with an earthquake. Just to be sure, we checked, but found no quakes around here at that time. We also called McConnell and the FAA to rule out a sonic boom. They didn't know what the strange noise was. Neither did Wichita Police, the National Weather Service, USGS, or the local geologist we spoke with. For nobody to know what it was or where it came from, it's a little spooky. If you think you have a better idea of what happened, we want to hear from you. Let us know. You can reach out to us on our Facebook page or by emailing the station. Thanks, Lauren. Loud booms were heard in several other states over the weekend. It was loud enough that it, the house shook and uh, just for that few seconds. But after that, there was just nothing. Tommy Morris says he thought someone rammed a truck into his house on South Santa Fe. Kind of like a stick of dynamite going off. Over on Ash Street, Gary Mills figured it was an earthquake. The windows, the walls, and you could hear the sound from outside. <laughs> I don't know what in the world it was. Mistä vitusta jo ääni tulee? Mitä vittua? Tää joo vittu. Ei jum. 